All right. Good morning. Everything good now, Judy? We're good? All right, thanks. All right. Do we have any preliminary matters before the jury? Um, just, just two preliminary matters, Your Honor. Okay. 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 All right. Here are paper copies. The thumb drive contains electronic copies of these as well as the excerpted audio recordings that were entered. And uh, okay. Well, I kind of need a thumb drive for each audio recording, but oh, it's a separate thumb drive for each. It's it's, it's marked to different exhibits, so I have to have it as ex different exhibits. We so. Okay. Good. And we'll go through them and see what we have. And you have yours as well. Uh, your, yes, Your Honor, if I may approach. I okay. Have, uh, this is uh, from this exhibit, 40 redacted. Okay. Just give it a uh, Photographs that were from this exhibit. The knives, right. Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Great. We'll go through those. And if we need anything else, we'll let you know, okay? And each of the, the excerpted recordings are on a separate audio file on the thumb drive. So if you'd like it, you can just separate. I understand you're saying you'd like a separate physical. Just because so we can have them numbered that way, correct? All right. I, I got to keep Jamie happy. Yes. No okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Thank you. You can be seated. All right. Just a reminder, Mr. Depp, you're still under oath. Okay, sir? Yes. yes All sir. right. Cross-examination. All right. Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a nice weekend. 
Mr. Depp, we've talked about this uh, a little bit, but you've testified that abuse can come in many forms, correct? Physical being one of them, right? Uh, yes, indeed. Emotional? Indeed. Verbal? Indeed. Psychological abuse? Indeed. Some of those sort of flow into the other. I'd like to talk, understood. I'd like to talk about um, some of that abuse. Um, can we pull up exhibit 582, please? Your Honor, this is a recording, Defendant's Exhibit 582, that we will play um, the entirety of. All right, any objection to 582? No objection, Your Honor. All right, 582 in evidence. Go put your fucking cigarettes out on someone else. You fucking have consequences for your actions. That's it. Shut up, fat ass. Yeah, you got me there. Can you play that one more time, please, Michelle? Objection, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. Move on. Mr. Depp, and when, when Ms. Hurd tells you in that recording to go put your cigarettes out on someone else, you don't deny that, but instead you simply say, shut up, fat ass. Is that correct? Um, I think that was another grossly exaggerated moment of Ms. Hurd's. I, don't, I did not put a cigarette out on her or throw a cigarette at her. Let's pull up exhibit 581, please. This is another recording that we'll play the entirety of with your honor's leave. Any objection to 581? No objection. 581. Well, I, well, I fucked up and cried in my bedroom after I had dumped you a fucking week, week prior. A fucking week prior, after you beat the shit out of me, and then a week later, you show in my show up at my doorstep in my room saying you want to say goodbye. Okay, say goodbye. Oh, I said it. Yes, you did say it. I'll go to the text messages so that we are clear yes, on the tape. Yes, you said it before to me. Okay, no doubt, <laughs> but you did not say you're to come over to say bye. I'm an abused mistake. You didn't. You didn't say that to me. You didn't say that to me? Well, I won't do it again. What's the mistake then? Didn't, did you or did you not say you were coming over to say bye? Can we please pull up exhibit 598? Is this another audio? It yeah. is, Your Honor. Um, and I, I will give the, um, the excerpts that we propose to play. Uh, and I'll say, uh, Your Honor, this is a it's a lengthy recording where... Well, we, I already have 598A in evidence, so... Right, and I just wanted to, to clarify, um, spoke with Ms. Myers this morning. We're going we're gonna to speak at a break. But it's a, it's a, we, we're trying to be very careful about whether there's a third party on the tape. This is one where at the very end, um, someone else comes in. Um, but Ms. Myers and I will speak, and we may be, to the extent your, your honors agreeable, we may be agreeable to just entering the whole thing um, as evidence. But for now, since there's a very small portion at the end that we're not going to play of a third party, we'll just, I'll just give you the excerpts if that works. Well, then I need 598B and I need yes. to know what the time of the excerpts are. And We'll prepare that for you, Your Honor. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I need it now. I mean. I, I have the, okay. the excerpts. So this would be 598B. Okay. And it's seconds 1 through 20. And then it's minutes 30 minutes and two seconds through 31 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay. All right. Any objection to 598B then? No objection, Your Honor. Thank you. And then what is it? You accuse me of not being able to do. No, and then exactly what I said. What did you say? At least I'm not doing it behind your back and telling you. Okay. You gave me shit that I was recording, and I said, yeah, I'm recording, but at least I'm telling you. Okay. And so, if you had asked me not to, I wouldn't. Well, record, huh? Okay, so the next excerpt is minute 30 and 30 minutes and two seconds. Necessary, especially between you and I. It is of utmost importance. 
Which is the next move, if I don't walk away, we just go out for a little while. Just, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a bloodbath. And like, it's, you know, like it was on the island, of course. Like it was, you know. Have some some someone's understanding for each other's. Please, can we? Because yeah. I'm not trying to say, hey, by the way, no one in their right mind is gonna choose a bloodbath over walking away. Obviously, if you're given the option between the two. Then why has it been chosen so many times? <laughs> It's the, that snowball. It is not a distinct choice. Either one of us make at any discernible point. No, it's stubbornness and it's all You know, and it builds, choice. right? Like mm -hmm. you build, I build, you know. It isn't like at one moment either of us sign a certificate of saying or like sign the contract or say, okay, now I'll blood that. No. So acting as though there's a choice between the two is, is irrelevant. I'm not asking you to stay over having a bloodbath. I'm asking you, I mean, over walking away. I'm not asking you to have a bloodbath over walking away. I'm asking you to work it out over prolonging it and making it bigger. Can you please pull up Defense Exhibit 161, which was admitted into evidence on Thursday, Your Honor, I believe? Yes, it was. Thank you. Now, that recording that we just heard, Mr. Depp, isn't the first time that you um, refer to an argument as a bloodbath. In fact, in this text exchange that we saw on Friday, when you inform Ms. Heard that there exists a book entitled Disco Bloodbath, and she asks you if it is about last Friday night by any chance. You say, how can you make me smile about such a hideous moment? Yes, it is. Funny bitch. Did I read that right? Certainly did, sir. Thank you. Can we pull up exhibit 586, please? Your Honor, the only, um, the, the portion of this exhibit that we would plan to play, it's a recording, is minutes 7.35 to 8.20. Okay, but I already have a 586A. So, so this would be 586B. If 7.35 to what? 8.20. Thank you. No objection to 586B? No objection. All right, 586B. Oh, yes, you do, because you wouldn't have used that as a way to hit me. I was pouring my heart out to you. What do you do? Let me get it. Let me get it. Stab in here. That's what you saw, huh? You listen to me cry. And you're like, now I can get her. Is that what you think? You just do it without thinking. You do it without thinking, huh? You don't. Get a baby. Stab him when you can. You throw a swing when you can. What win better than to win on the floor? Because that's when it's really good to hit someone. Okay. Can you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 366? This is another recording, Your Honor, that we would propose to admit all of, although we will only be playing minute 320 through 338. All right, so no objection to 366 in its entirety, is that correct? Uh, that's correct, Your Honor. All right, 366 in evidence. He's only playing part of oh, plaintiffs, I'm sorry.
Can you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 396? Your Honor, portions of this were used on Thursday, so with your leave, we'd like to introduce this as 396B um, with the following excerpts. 244 and 0 seconds through 244 and 16 seconds. And then 249 and 30 seconds through 249 and 55 seconds. All right, any objection to 396B? No objection, Your Honor. 396B. Go to 249 and 30 seconds, please. heard say get off me right no I did not I heard distant screaming and I heard I'll talk to you later I'll talk to you later I was Let's look at exhibit 857 like please that's defendants 857 yes your honor okay another audio file or it's not no okay is there any... oh, sorry. mr. Depp I'd like to direct your attention to the second to last text yes on this this is a text from you to your agent Christian Carino on August 15th 2016 correct that's correct that's what it looks like yes objection your honor relevance and prejudice
Your Honor, to, for the sake of time, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, may I ask the witness about the portions that we discussed, and then we can provide a redacted version. Okay. Mr. Depp, uh, in, this, in this text message from you to Christian Carino, your agent, on August 15, 2016, um, you, you tell him, uh, you, you, you go on at some, some length about Amber, but you say, she will hit the wall hard four exclamation points. And then later down you say, I can only hope that karma kicks in and takes the gift of breath from her. Did I read that right? Objection compound. And I'll allow it. This particular um, one. You, you read that correctly. So. And this wasn't the first time that you talked about Amber hitting the wall hard. Let's pull up exhibit 213, please. Hitting the wall hard based on the we'll accusations the that she it, Mr. brought. Depp. I'm sorry, I was talking. Is that all right? You'd, you, you'd answer my question. We'll take a look at the next oh, exhibit. Thank you. Happy. As long as you're happy, sir. Mr. Depp, this is a text that you sent to Bruce Whitkin on February 4th, 2014. The text where, at the top of the page. Where am I looking, sir? On, the, on your screen, please. I I'm figured sorry. that out. The, the top text on the screen. Okay, I didn't know if there was a specific, if it was third from the bottom or somewhere around the corner. What would you like me to do? This is a text that you sent to Bruce Whitkin on February 4th, 2014, correct? Okay. Yes. Your Honor, I move for admission of this exhibit with uh, just that text displayed. With the redactions applied and also the identifiers. That's okay, yep. redactions and identifiers. We, have that. we right. have that ready. All right, 213 evidence with redactions. Move for the admission of this. Permission to publish, Your Honor. It is in evidence. Thank you. you can publish it. Mr. Depp, on February 4th, 2014, you tell Mr. Whitkin, Amber and I hit the wall hard. You see that? I do, sir. And that's the same phrase that you used in your text to Mr. Carino from 2016 that we just read, correct? They are similar words, but they have different meanings. If, uh, Can we pull up um, makes exhibit, sense to you, but. exhibit 498, please? Mr. Depp, is this a text exchange that you had with Ms. Hurd uh, on or about October 28, 2015? Yes, sir. And I'd like to uh, direct your attention to the third text down. Yes. Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 498 with uh, identifiers redacted. Any objection? Uh, relevance, Your Honor. All right, let's... May we approach? Okay, sure.
Can you pull up Exhibit 330, please? <clears throat> Mr. Depp, I'd like to turn your attention to the, the, the middle text on this page, which is a text from you to someone named Ryan A. Uh, on January 12th, 2015. Do you see that? January. I'm sorry, uh, the second one from the last. Yes. Uh, January 12th? Yes. Yes, sir. Is that Ryan Adams, the singer? Uh, yes, it is. Um, Your Honor, move for uh, admission of Defendants Exhibit 330. Um, just plan on asking about that text. Uh, objection relevance, Your Honor. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm, the, if we, I'm happy yeah, to approach if you want. Okay. Can you pull up Exhibit 620, please? Mr. Depp, I'd like to uh, turn your attention to text number 40. Okay. It's the third one down. Yes. This is a text from you to Malcolm Connolly. Is that right? That's correct. Your Honor, I'd move for admission of this document um, with the third text down. If I just. Sure. I'm happy to approach to discuss if, you, if your Honor would like. Uh, relevance objection again, Your Honor. Okay, if you want to approach. Redacted.
Mr. Rottenborn, if that's coming in, we'd do a lot like um, the contextual text messages as well. If we might take a look, please. I'm sorry. I, I, okay. uh, we would like to take a look and just make sure the contextual text messages are coming in with the one that you're directing Mr. Depp to. I, I'm just going to address the court. I, if I, that that was the text message that. I would like to get in if you if they're I don't not sure what she's we'll, asking we'll your just, honor. We'll just we'll just go forward with that text message for now. Okay. Mr. Depp, you, do you remember last week uh, the jury saw the video of you, um, uh, as you called it, assaulting the cupboards in that kitchen on Sweeter Avenue? Yes, sir. Very well said. And that was on or about February 10th, 2016, correct? Objection calls for speculation. I'll allow it if you can answer. I have, I've, uh, I'm not, I don't know when that's from. I have asked for the metadata. I've asked for the date and received nothing. Okay. Um, this text you sent on February 10th, 2016 to, uh, to Malcolm Connolly. Malcolm yes. Connolly is one of your security guards, correct? Yes, he is. And in this text, you say, thanks, dear Mal. I'm just at the point where I feel like I'm gonna puke all the time. Once I get this shit moving and get myself out of her level of shit, I will never mention this cunt's name again, ever again. And the first prick that asks about her gets a warning. Should the single cell prick decide to push it, he never forgets me and will always be remembered throughout his life as the guy that got his fucking nose bit off, chewed up and swallowed by Johnny Depp. While I do have some civilized bones in my body, just on a matter of principle, I must force him to watch me fulfill this promise of mangling his motherfucker of a beezer. Love you, X. Did I read that right? You did. I'd like to turn to your views on Ms. Hurd's career. Can you please pull up uh, Exhibit 195? I'd like to direct your attention to the second to last text from the bottom. This is a text message exchange between you and Ms. Hurd on October 29th, 2013, correct? It looks like it is, yes. Your Honor, I move for the admission of Defendants Exhibit 195 with the appropriate identifiers redacted. Uh, we would object on relevance grounds, Your Honor. Your Honor, th this is him expressing his views on her taking a meeting about a movie, her, her good, career, his views. So 195 will be in evidence with redacted with the identifiers. <clears throat> Mr. Depp, you see the, the text that from, from Amber that says, I'm at a coffee meeting now. You see that? I do. Right sir. there. So she tells you at 12.41 uh, at p.m., I'm at a coffee meeting now, we'll be home soon. And then you respond, holy crap, whores, 
No goddamn meetings. No movies. Why? Why do you deviate from our agreement? What species of meeting? Fuck it. Just tell me when you get home. Did I read that right? You did, but a coffee meeting. You didn't want her to take the meeting that she was taking that day, correct? Um, it seems as though we had an agreement. Uh, what seems like we had an agreement to do something together. I'm actually asking, asking what species of meeting. So uh, this is not necessarily uh, 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 an angry text. It's just why do you deviate from our agreement? It's not about her doing films. How do you think she got Aquaman, sir? You tell her no goddamn meetings, no movies, because you didn't want her acting. You wanted to control her career, correct? Objection compound. That's uh, I'll, I'll, patently untrue. Well, it's a Mr. great Depp, guess. Sir. All right, Sorry. yes, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Sorry. Let's, That's we, right. can, we can move on. Uh, exhibit 394, please. <coughs> Defendant's exhibit. Thank Mr. Depp, if you can take a look at the, the fourth text down, this is a text from you to Dr. Kipper on, um, it's in the, the timestamp issue, I believe it was sent on March 8th, 2015 in Australia, timestamped March 7th, 2015. Do you see that? I do, sir. Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of 394. No objection with the proper redactions of the rest of the text messages and the identifiers. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. 394 and evidence with redactions. Permission to publish? All right. Yes, yes, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Depp, on this date, uh, right after you had suffered an injury to your finger, you text Dr. Kipper and you say, Hi, fucked man, had another one. I just cannot live like this. She is as full of shit as a Christmas goose. I'm done. No more. The constant insults, the demeaning, belittling, most heartbreaking spew that is only released from a malicious, evil, and vindictive cunt. But you know what? Far more hurtful than her venomous and degrading, endless educational ranting is her hideously and purposely hurtful tirades and her goddamn shocking treatment of the man she was meant to love. Above all, here's the real deal, mate. Her obsession with herself is far more important she is so fucking ambitious. She's so desperate for success and fame. That's probably why I was acquired, mate. Although she has hammered me with what a sad old man has been I am, Cowan has done me the most cruel of favors. I'm so very sad. I cut the top of my middle finger off. What should I do? Except, of course, go to a hospital. I'm so embarrassed for jumping into anything with her. Fuck the world. Did I read that right? Yes, Mr. Rottenborn. So even as you are ranting about Miss Heard to Dr. Kipper, even as you were talking about her ambition and expressing your objections to that, you still admit to him that you cut the top of your middle finger off, correct? Objection compound. All right, so status compound. You're complaining about her ambition in this text to her, to, to Dr. Kipper, correct? Um, I'm realizing that her ambition is far stronger than her uh, supposed feelings for me, yes. 
And there's nothing about this text that's trying to protect her. Pr protect her? From, and, from what? And you tell Dr. Kipper, I cut the top of my middle finger off in this text, correct? It's just the way it was worded. It doesn't mean that well, I actually literally cut my finger off after, at the age of 12, finding the only thing that gave me uh, peace, which is playing the guitar. Very unlikely. Why didn't I start lopping off digits when I was uh, 13? Then? Just the way it was worded. Now, Miss Hurd, yeah. Miss Hurd wasn't the only one who had a problem with your. You can take that down. Miss Hurd wasn't the only one who had a problem with your drinking, and abuse of alcohol. Correct. Objection compound. Uh, all right, uh, I'll sustain the objection. Miss Hurd wasn't the only one who had a problem with your drinking. Correct. Sir, if anyone had a problem with my drinking at any time in my life, it was me. The only person that I have ever abused in my life is myself. In fact, you tried to hide your drinking from your daughter, Lily Rose, didn't you? Objection, relevance. What's the relevance? When your nerves are pushed. Sure, can, can we approach, approach your honor? Okay. Pardon. Can you pull up Exhibit 207, please? Can you scroll down, please? Thank you. Mr. Depp, I'd like to direct your attention to the last text on this page. It's a text from you to um, Kevin Murphy. He was your, uh, your estate manager, correct? He was. This is a text from you to Kevin Murphy on January 21st, 2014, correct? Yes, sir. Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of that portion of Defendant's Exhibit 207 with redactions. With the uh, identifiers redacted, that's fine. Thank you. Permission to publish? Yes, sir. And in this text to Kevin Murphy on February, or sorry, January 21st, 2014, you say, just trying to get over my shocking discussion with Vanessa that lasted five plus hours. Vanessa's your former partner, correct? She's the mother of my children, yes. The mother of your children, that's right. And then you say, I feel ill and have invested my guts into some side corner. Now, Lily Rose hates me because she thinks I'm drinking and she's right. But I can't admit or I fucking die in her eyes. Thanks for that one, Vanessa. Come to master in main house. 
Did I read that correctly? You did. Can you pull up Exhibit 1092, please? Mr. Depp, is this a picture of you passed out in a chair during daylight hours? Again, isn't passed out, uh, a, that's a very specific term. Sleep could be one, passed out. Um, let's just, let, let's try it this way. This is a picture of you in a chair, correct? Th that is correct. Move for the admission of 1092, Your Honor. <clears throat> Objection. I, I'm, I'm, I'm relevant, Your Honor. Your yeah. Honor, I'm, I'm trying to move this along. Well, and when we stop with relevance, well, I just, you want to lay a foundation. I just don't. This is a picture of Mr. Depp. It, it, it's, we've introduced another um, on well, Thursday, you, another you picture want, of that. Approach. What is the date of this photograph? I'm sorry. Can you take that down and put um, put up Exhibit 470, Michelle, please? Mm -hmm. Mr. Depp, is this is the bottom text on this page a text exchange or a text message from you to your personal assistant Stephen Duders on September 3rd, 2015? That's what it looks like, yes, sir. Your Honor, I've moved for the admission of this exhibit um, with just that text and the appropriate redactions. Exhibit 470. Again, a relevance, Your Honor, and cumulative. I'll allow this one if we Thank just... you, Your Honor. With the redactions. Permission to publish, Your Honor. All right. Let's go. Thank you. Mr. Depp, uh, in the effort to, to move this along, I'm not going to read the whole thing, um, but I'm going to start with the, the, the word main bits, which is five lines down. You write to Mr. Duders on September 3rd, 2015, main bits needed are Xanax and Adderall and I want no judgment from Kipper or Debbie. Kipper means Dr. David Kipper, correct? That's correct. And Debbie means Debbie Lloyd, your sobriety nurse, correct? That is correct. Just found out from Joel last night how much I spent on having Kipper and Debbie around. Millions and fucking millions, mate. All the while, Debbie just hung around broad BCH and gave me new meds like every two weeks. She was on set maybe four times. Wow. And five money symbols. Sorry, just how it is. Did I read that right? You did. 
Can we pull up exhibit 587, please? This is a recording, Your Honor. I already have 5787A, so this is 587B. 587B, Your Honor. <coughs> um, the excerpts to be played are 1940 through 1953 and 2304 through 2329. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. 587B evidence. In that clip, Mr. Depp, you tell Ms. Hurd, I'm never getting clean and sober, correct? It sounds like to me uh, that, uh, yes, either that or I have never been clean and sober. Thank it's you. One of the Let's two. play 2304, please. I'd like to turn now to a few more of your words around the time that you went into detox about how you viewed Amber's role in that process, Mr. Depp. Can you please pull up plaintiff's exhibit 120 underscore 40? And your honor, um, 120 underscore 41 was admitted the other, the other day, but um, I'd like to introduce this as a separate exhibit. So 120B, please. and that would be underscore 40, you said, 40? Yes, your honor. Okay. Any objection to that? Um, if I may, it just came up on the screen. Okay. Mr. Depp, while they're looking at that, is the second text from the bottom a text that you sent to Amber's mom, Paige, on August 19th, 2014? Yes, that's correct. Sir. And this is when you were either in the middle of or finishing up your detox process from Roxycodone, correct? That is correct. All right. In, no, no objection? No objection. Okay. 120B in evidence. You want to publish? Or, um, as is, correct? Uh, uh, with with the other okay. that's text fine. messages redacted. All right. Thank you. Oh, with the, okay. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> And in this text message that you write Amber's mom on August 19th, 2014, you say, my dearest Paige, how unbelievably kind and pure your message was. I am beyond thankful to have you in my life. There is no luckier man on this earth to have the strength that Amber gives me and the full support of each of you individually that I've gotten helps immeasurably. I don't need to explain the horrors to you. You know as well as I. What you do need to know, that your daughter has risen far above the nightmarish task of taking care of this poor old junkie. Never a second has gone by that she didn't look out for me or have her eyes on me to make sure that I was okay. Why and words are truly feeble in attempting to explain her heroism in a text. Suffice to say that I have never met or loved a woman or a thing more. She has the strength of a thousand men, and that is due 
to no one or nothing but you, sweetheart. Thank you. I love you. Your son, Outlaw. Did I read that correctly? You, you did, sir. I'd like to take a look at a, another document. Um, uh, Exhibit 272, please. Is this a text message that you shared, a uh, text message exchange between you and Amber the following day on April 20th, 2014? Yes, sir. Your Honor, permission to uh, or move for the admission of Exhibit 272 and ask for permission to publish. Uh, with the identifiers removed, we have okay. no objection. All right, remove the identifiers. Two seventy-two in evidence as redacted. Now, Mr. Depp, you testified on Thursday that you saw nothing wrong with referring to Amber as a lesbian camp counselor when she was trying to get you to stop using drugs. But she let's take a look at what same, you say in she this used text. That term before in she... this text, Mr. Depp, you say, "Just to let you know that I'm fine, my angel." I miss you, of course, but this was the right thing to do to speed up the process. I love you more than life. Yours, Steve. Did I read that correctly? You did. You can take that down. Now, you've brought this lawsuit about the op-ed specifically, but for years prior to the date that Ms. Hurd wrote the op-ed, there were numerous negative news stories about you. You'd agree with that, correct? Objection compound. <laughs> I sustain it to compound. For years prior to 2018, when Amber wrote the op-ed, there were numerous negative news stories about you that were released into the public, correct? Objection calls for speculation. I'll allow it if you can answer. Um, by 2018, you're saying? Correct. Yes, it all started with um, Ms. Hurd going to, going directly to a court to get a TRO, which is with a bruise on her face and paparazzi, uh, that that was the sort of beginning of the the ball rolling down the hill and gaining momentum. There were lots of negative stories me. about you prior to May 27, 2016, when Amber went into court. Correct. Objection. Asked and answered. Now it's 2016. I'll, I'll allow it. If you there are plenty of negative stories about you prior to that date, weren't there? So I've, I've, I've been in this, the racket of Hollywood since 1984. Um, my... Mr. Uh, Depp, it's, that's, I'm asking you a yes or no question. There were plenty of negative news stories about you prior to May 27, 2016, correct? From 1984 up until then, they're, all, they're both. So, of course, people write negative stories. Sure, and you just testified to the jury that it all started on May 27, 2016. So that's why I asked you to clarify about the negative stories prior to that date. And you'd agree that there were, correct? Can you be specific about the stories? Of course there have sure. been negative stories. Permission to approach, Your Honor? All right. Your Honor, I have here a, um, numerous exhibits in one sort of compendium, um, all uh, press articles about Mr. Depp, if I may approach. Thank you. All right, yes, sir. Thank you so much. Your Honor, in, in it, Having received this, I, I would like to preemptively lodge a hearsay lack of foundation. And he hasn't I, got him in evidence yet. I don't, are you moving? No, I'm, I'm happy to. I'm happy to approach, but they're certainly not being admitted for the truth of the matter asserted. But I'm happy to approach and discuss. Okay, hold
Mr. Depp, if you could please take a look at the, the stack of articles in front of you. Um, Yes, it's a stack of hit pieces. Yes, the, the first Generated one is called them the is Herd's publicity just, team. Mr. Depp, I'm, I'm, we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. I'm just um, I'm going to ask you about the are. first one. Well, we're going to we're going to talk about them. The first one is entitled um, is from the Guardian. Do you see that? Apparently drone. Yes, case. and this is a, an article from sep from November 15, 2014, entitled "Apparently Drunk Johnny Depp." cut off at Hollywood Film Awards Ceremony, correct? Uh, that's what it says, yes, sir. And the next article is an article from May 7, 2016. It's entitled, Johnny Depp, Friends and Family Seriously Concerned About Him, Here's Why. Yes, correct? how did they know? The next article from May 1, 2017, before yes, Ms. Heard filed uh, for a restraining order, a year and a half before she published, um, uh, no, sorry, this would be this would be after May first, twenty seventeen. Uh, the headline is Johnny Depp has a clear and epic sense of entitlement. Ex managers say, yes. published in the Hollywood Reporter. Correct. I was in a lawsuit with him, sir. The next article from May tenth, two thousand seventeen, is entitled Johnny Depp. A Star in Crisis and the Insane Story of His Missing Millions. Did I read yes, that right? That's straight from the same lawsuit, sir. The next article, also from May 10th, 2017, a year and a half before the op-ed was published, says, Johnny Depp reportedly drank heavily and was constantly late on the new Pirates movie set. Did I read that right? You did, reportedly. The next article, These are all also from May 10, These are drugs, 2017. Sir. Mr. Depp, this is a pathetic attempt. Mr. Depp, please just respond to the question that I'm asking you. What's your the question, next question, Mr. Rotten the next, the next document, an article published in Vanity Fair on May 10th, 2017, yes, is entitled, Johnny Depp's Financial Woes Might Sink the Next Pirates of the Caribbean. Did I read that right? You, you did. I don't know the how next article, financial woes would do May that. May 25th, 2017 a year and a half before the op-ed was published. An article entitled, Where Did It All Go Wrong for Johnny Depp? After a string of flops and a ton of bad press, Johnny Depp's star power looks as wobbly as Jack Sparrow on a plank. Did I read that right? You read that very, very well. The next one, Hollywood Reporter, May 27, 2017. Headline, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Diminishing Returns of Johnny Depp. Did I read that right? You certainly did. Hollywood Reporter were very nice to me at the time. July 12th, 2017. Why are all of Johnny Depp's movies bombing at the box office? Did I read that right? Um, you certainly did. November 4th, 2017. A year and a month before Amber published the op-ed. Headline, Johnny Depp allegedly showed up drunk to movie premiere, reports say. Did allegedly I read that correctly? Reports say. This is hearsay. June 21st, 2018, six months before the op-ed was published. Vanity Fair article, The Real Reason Johnny Depp Used an Earpiece on a Film Set. I think that was explained read in that court correctly. the other day. Oh, you did, yeah. June 21st, 2018, six months before the op-ed was published. A mm -hmm. Rolling Stone article entitled, The Trouble with Johnny Depp. Multi-million dollar lawsuits, a haze of booze and hash, a marriage gone very wrong, and a lifestyle he can't afford inside the trials of Johnny Depp. Did I read that right? You did. You should read the article. It's and the wonderful. last one, the last one, June 22nd, 2018, the Daily Mail, vodka for breakfast, 72-hour drug binges, and spending sprees that beggar belief. Alison Boshoff reveals why Hollywood's reeling over what's being called Johnny Depp's career suicide note. Did I read that correctly? You did. Who's Alison Boshoff and how does she know? Mr. Depp, you can't name oh, a single actress who has benefited in her career by coming forward and stating that she was the victim of domestic violence, can you? I'm sorry, objection what calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. 
When Amber made abuse accusations against you in May 2016, fair to say it got a lot of press attention, right? Objection calls for speculation. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. When Amber made abuse accusations against you in May 2016, you became aware that it got a lot of press attention, correct? Very quickly, I became aware. And she became associated with those abuse accusations that she made against you in May 2016, correct? To your knowledge. Objection calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. You, you became associated with those domestic abuse accusations that she made against you, correct? I think that's clear. And yes. you understood that she and you understood that she became associated with those same accusations that she made, correct? You testified to that. Well, she had a choice, I didn't. And you've talked about the immediate impact that those accusations on May 27, 2016 allegedly had on your career, correct? Yes. You testified earlier in your examination on direct that when Amber made those accusations in 2016, you said you lost, quote, noth nothing less than everything, correct? That is correct, sir. But you didn't try to get the restraining order lifted in 2016, did you? I, I don't. If she wanted a restraining order. It's a yes order. or no question. You didn't try to get the restraining no, order. No, why would I? And you didn't have a divorce trial where you could respond to Amber's accusations of abuse in 2016, did you? Objection calls for a legal conclusion. I'm asking him if he had a trial. That's All a right, fact. I'll allow you didn't have a divorce trial where you could respond to Amber's accusations of abuse, did you? No, there were no charges pressed against you. Me. Chose she didn't not tell to the police that I had done anything. She didn't mention my name. And, and you didn't you didn't have a California divorce judge decide these facts, did you? Objection has been answered. I'll you chose the objection. You time. chose not to try to clear your name at that time through any sort of legal proceeding, correct? Objection asked and answered. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. And you chose to sign a divorce agreement in which you stated that Amber had not made any false statements about you for financial gain. We looked at that, correct? Objection asked and answered. I asked and answered. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. In fact, you waited until Amber wrote the op-ed in the Washington Post in December of 2018 to file a lawsuit against her, correct? That is correct. Can you pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 2, please? It was the only time that I was able to speak and use my own voice. You chose not to sue the Washington Post in this lawsuit, correct? Objection, relevance, asked and answered. It's not been asked and answered. It hasn't been asked and answered, but I'm not sure what the relevance is. You chose to sue only Ms. Hurd and not the newspaper that published this article, correct? Objection, compound. All right, I'll sustain as to compound. You chose not to sue the Washington Post, correct? Objection, relevance. I'll sustain the objection. You only sued the author of this article, Amber Hurd, correct? Which seems she was the one making the statements. Yes, I had the opportunity to fight back. Permission to publish Exhibit 2, Your Honor? All right, Exhibit 2 is already in evidence. Mr. Depp, you realize that the only job for this jury to decide. Yes, sir. Its only job is to determine whether this op-ed and this op-ed alone is defamatory. Objection calls for a legal conclusion. I'll sustain the objection. This is the only writing that you are, that's the subject of this lawsuit that you brought, correct? Same objection. It's fact, Your Honor. He brought the lawsuit. I'll allow that question. This is a version of that story of the op-ed that I've never seen. The one that was published before, the one that, the only one I've ever seen is the one that was published prior to this. They changed the title because they were in fear of trouble. Well, I move to strike that last testimony, Your Honor. Whether it's the online edition or this edition in the paper, this article is the only statement, the only publication of anything that's the subject of the lawsuit that you brought, correct? Objection. Asked and answered. I'll sustain the objection. This op-ed, Mr. Depp, does not discuss any of the details of your relationship that we've seen in texts and emails and recordings over the past few days, does it? Objection. Compound and asked and answered. I'll sustain both objections. In fact, this article doesn't contain any details of your relationship with Ms. Hurd. 
Objection asked and answered. I'll sustain the objection. The only thing that this article states, Mr. Depp, is that in 2016, Amber made accusations of domestic abuse. Correct. I, it was clear that she'd made allegations in 2016. And she so did that when she obtained a restraining order against you in 2016, correct? Um, yeah, I suppose, yes. Yeah, and even if you disagree with the accusations that she made against you in May 2016, it is a true fact that she did make those accusations in 2016 and got a restraining order against you, correct? Objection compound asked and answered. I'll sustain the objections. Next question. To your knowledge, the words that Ms. Heard use in this article about getting a restraining order against you in 2016, those are true, correct? I'm sorry? The Objection words that Ms. Heard used. Document. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Can you, can you go to um, the third paragraph? Pull up the third paragraph, please. The statement that then two years ago, Ms. Heard became a public figure representing domestic abuse. That is true, isn't it? I'm not sure what we're looking objection. at. Objection. Oh, I see it. Calls for a legal conclusion. So I'll sustain the objection. It's, it's, I'll it's sustain not. the objection. And in 2016, for the first time publicly, Ms. Heard accused you of domestic abuse, correct? In 2016? Yes. That's correct. No further questions. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't we go ahead and take our morning recess for 15 minutes. Do not do any outside research and do not talk to anybody about the case, okay? We'll come back in 15 minutes.